Hey guys, in this video, I wanna give you a few tips for supplementing with progesterone, as well as increasing your body's own natural supply and some of the risks and dangers of using synthetic progesterone. So I'm making this video because we've received a couple of questions recently about supplementing with progesterone. We talk a lot about the hormones here on the channel and we've recently made videos like this that talk about progesterone and why it's so crucial and important for not just female health but male health as well. So naturally people are curious as to how they can supplement with it properly and safely. So in this video what I want to do is give you a couple of tips as to how to do that and talk about the difference between a synthetic progesterone and a natural or bioidentical one. But before we do that, if you're not familiar with progesterone, let's really quickly overview its roles in the body and why you would want optimal progesterone levels, even if you're a male. So progesterone literally means for pregnancy. Pro means for, gesterone refers to gestation, which means pregnancy. And about 50 or 60 years ago, it was discovered that progesterone is most abundantly produced by the ovaries largely because of its protective anti-stress effects and maintaining a healthy baby through the stressful period of pregnancy. However, this has misled people into thinking that progesterone is solely a female hormone when it is indeed not. Progesterone is the basic anti-stress hormone. It is what your body prefers to use when facing stress and coping with stress. It has a high concentration in your brain. Your thymus gland needs it to function, which is the most important immune gland. And again, your adrenal glands also are going to be producing hormones like DHEA and progesterone, as well as the male testicles. So it's not just a female hormone. Male bodies produce it as well, primarily in the adrenal glands. And it is the basic hormone for adapting to stress. So when progesterone is deficient, the basic thing that goes wrong is that there's an increased reliance on cortisol. And if you're familiar with our YouTube channel, our videos, you know that cortisol is the very destructive, catabolistic stress hormone in the body. So it will help you cope with stress, but at the expense of your own health. Ultimately, cortisol is gonna break down and catabolize your muscle, your tissue, even glands like the thymus gland, which is again, an important immune gland, as well as your skin. It can disrupt the normal and healthy growth of the hair. It can deteriorate and waste away the brain. Ultimately, it can break down your body at the expense of coping with stress. So it's a very destructive hormone in this way. And again, it tends to be more elevated when progesterone is low. So this is perhaps the major reason that both men and women want progesterone levels, healthy progesterone levels, to avoid the reliance of the stressful cortisol. So with that in mind, the first thing I'm just gonna say is that I would not recommend using any form of synthetic progesterone or synthetic hormones. And instead focus on either a bioidentical progesterone, and we'll get in some tips as to how to use that safely and efficiently in a moment, or even prior to that, focus on handling the underlying causes of the progesterone deficiency, which is usually chronic stress and a thyroid deficiency. So when the body is experiencing chronic long-term stress, eventually what happens is the progesterone is not capable of handling all the stress and the body starts to produce more cortisol. And this is a phenomenon known as the pregnenolone steal in a hormonal pathway where pregnenolone, instead of becoming progesterone, starts turning into cortisol. And again, the basic reason for this is that the body's undergoing chronic long-term stress, which is unnatural for the body. The body should not be experiencing many years of stress. In the natural world, our bodies being a piece of nature are more or less equipped to handling acute bouts of stress. You know, running away from a life or death situation, handling you know a few months of stressful winter or lack of food. However, in the modern world, it's not unusual or abnormal for a person to be stressed out a great majority of the day, seven days a week for many years. So this is one of the major things that's gonna to lead to progesterone deficiency. And it can create a vicious cycle where the thyroid becomes low because the adrenal activity is high. And when the thyroid's low, progesterone is not gonna be synthesized and used in the body as efficiently. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend is that you definitely watch this video to get some tips on handling the underlying causes of a progesterone deficiency and get some natural lifestyle, dietary, and herbal tips for optimizing your progesterone levels. Now with that out of the way, getting to the bulk of this video, it's important to understand that synthetic progesterone, also known as progestin, which is most commonly found in things like birth control and other synthetic progesterone supplements, 
is not the same as progesterone, a bioidentical one. So they have a different chemical structure and a different chemical makeup. Synthetic progesterone actually tends to be more estrogenic in the body. It creates a stress in the body. In fact, there are studies that have been done as far back as 1995 showing that women who supplement with a synthetic estrogen, that their risk for ovarian and uterine cancer go up to 24%. And if they add in a synthetic progesterone, that those numbers nearly double, going up to 41%. And this risk factor goes up to 71% if you're a woman who is postmenopausal. So this just goes to show you that synthetic estrogen and synthetic progesterone, also known as progesterone, have a destructive effect on the body. They can increase your risk for cancer upwards to 70%. And why is this? Well, progestin is not progesterone. It's more similar actually to estrogen, has an estrogenic effect in the body. And it's well known that estrogen contributes to things like breast cancer and all sorts of cancer. As we talk about in these videos all the time, estrogen is a stress hormone. Not only does it rise under stress, for example, cardiovascular exercise, let's say long distance running, can double your blood estrogen levels. But at the same time, estrogen causes the stress. It causes the most basic cellular stress, which is stealing oxygen from your cells, a condition known as hypoxia. So when your cells don't get oxygen, they start to hyperventilate. They can't respirate or they can't breathe. And this is the basic stress in the body. And estrogen is a major promoter of that process. So synthetic progesterone or progestin is very similar to estrogen, has more of an estrogenic effect in the body, which is probably why when you supplement both synthetic estrogen and synthetic progesterone, that your risk for cancer nearly doubles. And in fact, there's tons of research that back the detrimental effects of synthetic progesterone and estrogen. So like I said, there's tons of research that show that estrogen contributes to cancer primarily by causing cellular stress. But progesterone has a very similar effect. It's been shown to not only increase the risk for breast cancer and uterine cancer, but also increase the risk for blood clots, cardiovascular disease, and even stroke. So if you're a female watching this and you take birth control or any form of synthetic progesterone and you experience negative symptoms like irregular periods or problems with your menses, intense cramping and bloating, headaches, nausea, breast pain, etc., it's likely not just the synthetic estrogen, but also the progestin. And I would highly recommend coming off of that and finding natural alternatives to birth control. However, for the other people watching this who are just interested in optimizing their progesterone levels, if you're not on birth control, let's say you're a male, again, the first thing I'd recommend doing is watching that earlier video and getting some tips there. However, for those of you interested in taking the bioidentical hormonal route, the two basic tips I have for you would be first and foremost, get a bioidentical hormone. Do not get a synthetic hormone or progestin. That is not progesterone and it will have incredibly adverse side effects. And instead get something that's natural, bioidentical, meaning that it shares the same chemical structure as the progesterone produced by your own body. And there's actually a very natural form of this and it comes from wild yam or the compound in wild yam known as diosgenin. And we actually have a video here on diosgenin that talks about its profound androgenic effects. It has an incredibly anabolic effect, something that's similar to testosterone and DHT as well as progesterone. So it can naturally increase and mimic all of these natural androgenic sex steroidal hormones, which is going to be very beneficial. So for anybody looking to take that route, I would recommend looking at a wild yam extract supplement. Another tip when it comes to supplementing with the diosgen in form, the wild yam root form of progesterone, is that your body only produces about 15 milligrams of progesterone a day. So about every two hours or so, it's producing a small amount of progesterone. So the safest and most natural way for you to take that progesterone is gonna be first and foremost, do not exceed that 15 milligram range. If you start exceeding your body's own natural production of it, you might start to downregulate receptors in the body and the body might not produce its own after a while. And that's something you do not want. The other major thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take it for a short period of time. There's a big difference between using bioidentical hormones from plant-derived sources like wild yam and hormone replacement therapy. So we're not talking about replacing the hormones in your body. We're talking about using herbs, natural substances that have a hormone-like effect in the body that can be used over a very short period of time to basically bring your body back into balance. So look at it as cycling in a sense. If you're familiar with the supplement world or the herbal world, 
something like wild yam, you're going to want to just cycle it. So if you're female, you're going to want to cycle it the days that match your cycle. So days 14 through 28, when your body's producing the most progesterone, would be the ideal time to take that wild yam supplement. And if you're a male, just taking a small amount of it for a couple of days might be all that you need. In fact, you might find that after just one dose of it, a good dose of it, that it kicks your body back into balance and you're set from that point. Granted that you're not exposing yourself to the underlying chronic stressors or the things that cause the progesterone deficiency in the first place. So to recap, progesterone is an essential protective hormone in both males and female. It's the basic anti-stress hormone that increases your resilience to stress. It's important for immune function and it even promotes the functioning of your metabolism which is going to result in greater energy. The other thing to remember is that synthetic progesterone or progestin is not the same as natural bioidentical progesterone that your body makes. Progestin more or less mimics estrogen, which is going to contribute to stress and an increased risk for cancer and other health issues as we covered. So you're gonna to wanna to stick to a natural form, ideally from something like wild yam or diosgenin. You could even just supplement with diosgenin to get a progesterone-like effect, or you could supplement with things like wild yam extract or ashwagandha KSM-66, which has been known to increase your production of progesterone naturally. So those are a couple of natural routes you can take. And if you're gonna be taking some sort of bioidentical progesterone, remember do not exceed 15 milligrams, and at the same time, only take it for a short duration of time, just enough to kick your body back into balance. Once your symptoms disappear, come off of it. So that's all I wanted to share in this video. Again, this is just more or less a video in response to a handful of questions and emails that we have been getting. And since we talk so frequently about the hormones and hormones like progesterone here on the channel, I figured I'd give you guys sort of a how-to guide when it comes to supplementing with this hormone or taking things like various herbs that increase your body's production of it. So if you found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for future videos similar to this one. If you're interested in learning more or supplementing with some of the herbs I've recommended throughout this video, remember, check out our online tonic herb shop, which carries all of our high quality tonic herbs and medicinal mushrooms that we mentioned here in the description box below. For additional information to help me on this channel and these resources, we do have a website, a blog, and an online wellness academy where we share with you everything that we know regarding good health and how to optimize your well-being. However, that does bring this video to a close. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.